Hey guys, it's Matt from TheEndGamer.com. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer files from an old hard drive, such as one that has broken or had corrupted data, or just to upgrade your hard drive to a new hard drive. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do with the hardware is you're going to want to plug in your new hard drive, and you're going to want to make sure that you leave the old hard drive in the same place that it was in order to transfer the files. So this means you're going to need a new SATA cable, and you're going to need a new power cable for your hard drive. Once you have everything set up, you're going to want to go over to your computer, start up your computer, and load Windows in order to transfer the files. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Start menu. Click on Control Panel. Look for the Administrative Tools option. Once you're in there, you're going to click on Computer Management. And then in the new window that pops up, you're going to click on Storage. And then Disk Management. You're going to get a window that's going to pop up that's going to ask you to initialize your disk before you can access it. Now, if this window doesn't pop up, you probably didn't install your your hard drive correctly and you probably have one of the cables loose or, or or connected the wrong way but if this window does pop up what you're going to want to select is the MBR option and then click OK. Now you can see the disk 2 has shown up and it says it's unallocated which you'll see is different than the other hard drives that you have hooked up so what you're going to want to do is right click on it and click New Simple Volume. It's going to open up a wizard for you. Just click Next. It'll ask you what size you want and generally you're going to want to leave that size to what they have selected there unless you're considering partitioning but that's a whole different whole different story. So click Next. You get to assign the following drive letter and you can choose pretty much any drive letter you want to. Um, I would suggest that you assign a letter that's a little bit higher up. You don't want to select something like, like B or, or F or, or, C or, or D because those are generally drives that are reserved sometimes for other other applications. So I'm going to select Drive X. Click Next. It's going to give you options to format or not format the partition and you do want to format your partition so for the file system, NTFS is standard. Allocation unit size you're going to want to leave as default. And for the volume label, you can you can label it whatever you feel like labeling it, whatever the drive is going to be doing. So for me, I'm going to be storing data on here, so I'm going to call it data. And you want to you want to perform a quick format. Um, it's almost the same as a regular format. It, it's a lot quicker. All right, and then you click finish and wait for the magic to happen. As you can see it it formatted very quickly and everything's ready to go. Now you're going to want to exit out of these windows. You can see already that it's it's telling me on the autoplay that a new drive called data and its extension is the X drive is available. So why don't you just click on open folder to view files. As you can see there's nothing inside. Um, you're going to want to go back to start, go to computer. You can see the new drive is, is showing up in my computer. Um, what you're going to want to do is click on the old drive that you're transferring the files from. In this case, mine is my old media drive. And now the first window that you see when you, when you get into your drive is going to have all the, all the folders that you have inside that drive. It's really simple from here. All you do is click, drag over all the folders, right-click, copy, go back over to your new drive with the empty folder, right-click, and paste. Now this is probably going to take a long time depending on how many files you have, so you're going to want to sit back and just let the files transfer. Once it's done, you should have everything transferred over to your new hard drive and you might want to check out by unplugging your old hard drive that had had the files that you were transferring 
and seeing if all the functionality of your old files is still available on your new drive with the new files. If it's not, you might have had some corrupted data on your old, old hard drive, or you might have had a, a poor transfer between the drives, in which case you're going to want to restart and, and see if you can get the, all the files to transfer over. If not, you might just be missing some data. Hopefully, if you did everything correctly, the new drive will be set up exactly the same as the old drive and you can just begin using that drive as you did before. That's all for today. Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, keep checking back at www.theingamer.com for more reviews, news, and tutorials and everything gamer. Thanks.